What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. Tier Zero has pre-sales up for one of the most hype sets of the year, Ghost from the Past, and it's not really looking too good in prices in terms of the Ghost Rares, Blue Eyes being way above TCG Player, Dark Magician around, but you can use code WHATSGOOD5 for 5% off and to support the channel. And when we go down under to the other prices, Dragoonity Remus at 27, where on TCG Player, it's at 40. We had pre sales over on Yu-Gi-Oh! Daily and this sold out like hotcakes. They do plan to relist some singles over on Daily. Pay attention to their Instagram in order to keep up with when they'll be doing that. But with Tier 0 being up right now and I assume Daily going to be readjusting prices, it's kind of wild to see how things are shaping up and also ratios. Both in EU and USA for the Ghost Rares, you're seeing a lot of misinformation right now. Oh, a two per case. Look at this opening. N they got none in these. Multiple cases over here what's really wild is the clumping you're going to average out very similar to rage of raw towards nine ghost rares in every 10 cases but what's just insane is that a lot of cases have no ghost rares that's a thousand dollar secondary market opening 50 of those little boxes and seeing no ghost and then opening another 50 and seeing two to three when daily opened theirs they saw nine ghost rares out of the 10 cases initially and then there's like three here two here none 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 a lot of people are going to be experiencing this if going in and diving for ghosts so it's like rolling the dice even more of that addiction on already in a hype beast product that's driving me insane with how the singles are and then a lot of the ultra rares the better they're around four ish per case you're looking at one in every 12 of those mini boxes having something like remus or evenly match and then the others are more towards like nine plus and with the better cards being so choked out yeah you're going to be looking at a pretty bad time now that is a quote from usa cases i do not have news on the ultra rares from the eu cases yet but the ghost rares seem very similar in both that you're going to have a lot of cases without a lot of cases with two and the occasional with three and it's all going to even out over a mass opening but the average person spending a thousand of their harder dollars on this you're either really happy or you're really upset on how things are also come check out tier zero for their pre-sale prices they have a lot of competitive ones up versus tcg player do keep in mind they have to play the international market though they have demand worldwide that's why you, why you will see some prices a little wonky but they do aim to slash the u.s market continuously and they also have limited quantities now they plan to relist through the day they're checking quantities slash conditions of their ghost rares pulled making sure they're acceptable to put on their side and there goes dark magician live there there goes remus well people are really that fast so they will be relisting but if you see that out of stock they will be doing their best to make sure it goes back in stock wild freaking wild that is insane to me also, Sherry LeBlanc got new cards in the Duelist pack, which has been extremely hype, and she got more cards in another set we're going to need to talk about. These look really freaking good and are causing some secondary market buyouts. We also see the TCG full description for the set does include a Ghost Rare. They're keeping the legendary Duelist name, so this box might do relatively well for itself, sealed, but with just one Ghost, people aren't going to be breaking open and going after as many as, say, five different ghost rares with revolving chases to be after the archetypes in here seem really good and you can pre-order this over on gamers choice code what's good five for five percent off and support the channel for an insane price that almost makes it hard to tell if you should be going sealed or for singles with this if you're only interested in one of the decks you might want to go for singles but at 522 a case 0.5 and you uh divide that by 12 that's with the discount applied shipped to your front door that's $43.54 a box gamers choice child productions is making sure you know their name really trying to get the best deals out there and this is awesome to see the players be able to get sealed if they so want it over the singles at this price but do keep in mind with a lot of these side sets shorting seems to happen the most and you are most likely getting a ghost rare if we stick to the rage of raw ratio but we'll have to wait and see if that ghost rare is worth it 
and what it is you're kind of gambling this early in to be getting that price but we are seeing a lot of the cards inside also speaking of the buyouts i find some of them ridiculous as a ton of the cards getting targeted for buyouts are already announced for reprint in the ocg version of this set and they rarely get missed on our market we're talking about all the fluor cards you have this up ridiculously we saw the buyout it's actually on fallout at 24 ish dollars per near mint but all across the board the fluor cards are going 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 a lot of them are mostly game promos we did get this reprinted in a structure deck but it is low on listings too i really like the deck i think it has huge potential and they seem to be pushing synchros a lot speaking of other buyouts from the set we see that win the win charm channeler which is in rise of the duelist ah the rise of the prices going up even further and the starlight rare getting speculated on starlights have been getting bought out in general so that is the highest rarity that wouldn't lose value but most people are going to be in the market for this one if they are going in i expect this to be in the megatons though very rare they would miss a card like that in the 2021 when megatons baxia speaking of synchro hype the ultimate rare is starting to shoot up you have very budget versions within the secrets but low quantity so if you are buying please use that tcg player link in the description down below costing you nothing extra to support the channel directly for the cards you'd already be buying but budget for maybe a bit because people are eyeing the best synchros a lot of synchros are penny stonks right now you see the ulti is just unlimited starting to shoot up and the first ads back towards their old prices where it was seeing a lot of play towards twenty dollars z1 the game promo is up a little in price actually kind of weird to see it this low in price on to say because game promos have been targeted for multiple buyouts so around four dollars being up in price for a card that's had multiple targeted buyouts in the past kind of odd to see now the set i did want to talk about is where sherry leblanc's getting even more cards the huge push animation chronicles where we see sherry's noble knights light noble knights and then more wind support that's kind of interesting as well why this is notable is this is the set taking the japan slot that usually pushes battles of legend and it's still usually that releases may to june if i'm not crazy and this is releasing in june so when will we get our version of battles of legend or the set that brings it how will it be branded and what are they going to do it's very exciting to watch and see but it's very clear that's that this is what battles of legend should be from and where they'll go with it should be also very very interesting now a ton of the fusions for the new instant fusion have been bought out especially from the astral packs i just want to cover that kind of real quickly and go through it vermilion sparrow is a fire pyro and is a low of 20 some odd dollars kind of crazy soul hunter got bought out he is a low of 20 dollars man eating black shark kind of a meme on his own around ten dollars which is near his market price weird enough maybe from actual sales but you have rare fish for actually be doing totally awesome Mobilis has not gone up and in fact has gone down a little despite getting more support from this andragoonities being here i guess if it was already expensive not worth touching i want something that's gonna spike and i can get sales rates on not touching one of the best cards that seems like it has a crazy price but it's been around here camion wizard was up in price though and is now even further in price so i wonder if somebody's cracked some kind of insane combo with this around 24 25 dollars bay rocks the dark fiend he's all, all these are astral pack by the way if you're driving you're the driving squad they're all astral pack 18 dollars low for a near mint and then mystical sand we mentioned her before she went up to 20 to 25 dollars being already up there in price so again weird to see marvelous not move when all these other ones are just moon rocketing but i guess people are being like just speculative going out knowing these will be hard to replace so you know those clickbait titles you can have a card and not know it's worth money yeah your vanilla fusions from astral packs from your years at locals could be worth a lot of money right now and actually get a decent sales rate if you're undercutting and listing below these sellers the new instant fusion is really cool it will have a lot of applications so i get why people are going for it if you saw instant fusion in the past for the effect monsters that would revolve in the metagame after metagame i imagine the new instant fusion will be doing similar things and if you know any more instant fusion buyouts let me know so what do you think of ghosts from the past and the crazy dice roll due to clumping how you're going to see a lot of cases with two to three ghost rares and a lot with none 
it's just wild to me and tier zero will be reloading and relisting pre-sales as they can so don't fret if you see something that goes out of stock i'm just gonna refresh i'm scared to do this right now but i'm i'm gonna refresh okay it's still it's still just uh remus uh has anybody gone for any of the lower cards like fog blades or something like that not quite yet so you guys still are going to get a good first crack at this and remember code the what's good five to support the channel multiple sites and yeah i'm i'm just kind of stunned by how ghost from the past is turning out we have a lot of singles still pretty cheap versus the actual msrp of this set versus the hype beast that has happened on the secondary market where it's really hard to get a case under a thousand dollars i i cringe just saying that but the singles are in a pretty good place right now for that and i think we're going to see some such as remus get targeted and hype beasted because people will want to make their money back on those cases where they see no ghost ringers eh, i didn't pull anything that reminds me of battles of legend armageddon with the ten thousand dragon Dragon and Utopia, you're gambling on your case having one of those two, you're more likely for the 10,000 dragons, so the Utopia is odd enough, the L, and then if you don't pack one, boy, I got two in, uh, not instant fusion, I got two invocations, and I got myself two Chaos Emperor dragons because they were shorted, congratulations, that, that was an insane set due to the chase, and this is panning out somewhere, I may, I've been overly harsh on this set in terms of that but that's because i don't like the lottery system and i don't think it's good for the average player but looking at these singles and how it's panning out for vendors clamoring over each other uh besides remus it is turning out pretty good for the players and that's konami's fault for splitting up a structure deck that was highly anticipated in the first place all those thoughts aside thanks for watching i think ghost from the past might be a pretty good sealed hold as well subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these conversations i'm still figuring out my thoughts if you haven't figured that out with how ghost from the past is hitting shelves and how it's being presented and then all these other new crazy products that seem better and better like nami's finally getting over that blazing dumpster fire era we still have lightning overdrive not being the most exciting so far we still have reveals to happen from that but then the new win duelist pack and then donna majesty it seems like things are really recovering and getting back on track with sealed so i look forward to a lot of products especially the 2021 megatons but ghost from the past just has me some type of way and i think you all can tell as well